First of all, greetings to you, uh, Fire. Greetings to your panel. Salute. And greetings to the chat. Salute. So, like, the idea that you said earlier that uh, all African uh, languages do not get, like, those uh, gender mm. pronouns, I think it's incorrect because the house of language has a gender pronoun specifically. So, like, in the house, for instance, uh, he... That's right. Said, is he, is, is he can't say house of Nubi, like Ghana... But he, he he made he made he made mention of African languages. Right. He, he was so, but, uh, but but how did they call he for how sounds like? I will verify him. She, she. He be she. Yeah. And then how be she for how sounds like? Ta, 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 uh -huh. ta, ta be yeah. she right? Where exactly. where he be she? Yeah. Like it's like Bugashi means bono, but it refers to gender. Uh, masculine gender, like mm -hmm. Bugashi. Have you heard? Yeah. I'm sure, like yeah, Bugashi, like beat so to beat someone. Yeah, <laughs> but you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell a female. You wouldn't tell that to a female. So to a female, okay. You say Bugata, but no, but it, it, it refers to the, uh, the 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 feminine gender. All right. So that's the like okay. the, the disparity. Yeah. So okay, okay. I'm actually going. I'm not going to take your word for it. I'm going to go find out. Oh no, you can just no. See, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You can just go on Google Translate right now and just do it yeah, right okay. now. Just just okay. go to Google Translate. Because, like, you live in the Western world, I live in the Western world. There's no, like, there's no point for us to, like, yeah, uh, I do you, can, yeah, you can just do it and just see it. So, as I was just, I just came to the platform just to clarify, you know? Oh, okay. The whole okay. idea, and the whole idea yeah, that, uh, the whole idea that uh, Kufo Adu, um, Okay. wouldn't uh approve it because uh, his, his family is relate uh somehow related to the lgbt community that is nonsensical it doesn't make sense that way if the legislative organ has passed it they have no uh they have no other choice than to approve it unless there's the constitutional provisions that says that or maybe if the president doesn't uh, approve it for a certain period of time then it might be it might becomes an it might be an act and eventually uh it will pass into a law i mean i don't know much about the uh the the constitution of, of ghana but I'm, I'm thinking there has to be a provision like that so he not you know not caring about whether um <laughs> uh, it's not uh he doesn't espouse human right that it, it, it doesn't make sense he's just an executive branch of the government if the legislative branch passed the bill he has no choice than to to approve it. No, he actually has a choice. That's the that's the conflict yeah. thing. Yeah. So and, I'm say, and I'm exactly saying I, I'm saying because I don't understand more about like the, the yeah. That, uh, that's what I'm telling you that he has a choice. It's, it's up to you. He has the so choice. So he can obtain make. it. Yeah, you can yeah. obtain, but. Uh, in the case of the U.S., for instance, in fact, if you look at if you look at what he has even said officially, he said he hasn't even received the bill. Okay. You understand? So, yeah. yeah. If you look at like in the case of the U.S., for instance, right? If they pass a bill. Like if they pass a bill, I mean the president can choose not to approve it, right? But after a certain period of time, it will just become an act. Like that's like the that's what I know like, in the case of the U.S. right. But I don't know much about Ghana. But yeah, I'm thinking in Ghana, they have in Ghana, some, some, some kind of provisions like that. Yeah, in Ghana, that's not the case. So the constitution gives I, the 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 amendment or the making of laws to the legislature and the approval of the laws to the executive. Or the um, exactly. enforcement of the laws to the executive, and that enforcement of the law, the highest body is the presidency. And whenever a bill is passed, whenever laws are being made, or sorry, bills are being discussed in parliament, before it becomes a law, the president must sign. And it is, it is up to his discretion. Whenever he chooses to sign, it is up to him. He can decide not to sign it. He can decide to sign it. Whenever he decides to sign it, and and there is no time frame. As to whether oh. if he doesn't sign it according to this time frame, this is what will happen. You understand? And exactly. even if he so sign, know, like, even if he signs it, it will still be an act of law, which is yeah, which exactly. Is That's where, what I'm saying. So, yeah. so what we don't know is about the the the, the, the like the time frame as to whether if the president doesn't sign. Because I do know, like in the US, there's a time frame. If he doesn't sign, you can just go. Dude, there's no time frame. We know that there is no time frame in Ghana. Yeah, there is no time frame. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, okay. And also, like, the, uh, I, I was uh, I was about to say uh, that, uh, what was it? I think, oh, uh, my train of, I kind of lost, like, my, my, my train of thought. Um, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think uh, in a nutshell, like that's what I wanted to. Uh, no problem. I asked uh, you, Dave, when you can't wear, but I, I just send a request. Just talk. You, yeah, you, I will but, keep you on there still. When you can't, know, then you drop for inside. Don't so, worry. So that's why I okay. that in but before, before, because before he goes, I, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Bro. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say this thing, this thing for instance, because you have to understand okay, a lot of time. Because for me personally, right, I think the whole bill is like a reactionary against like the 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 propaganda or the that is coming from the western world right because mm -hmm. like when you pass the bill into the law i mean we need to have like you know like uh some kind of agency a body to kind of implement those those law it means you know you're going to employ people i mean we don't even have that money even <laughs> we even heard like one of you guys saying that uh they're going to lose uh, an aid coming from the U.S. It means a lot of the civil servants are not going to get paid. Mm. So if you pass this bill into the law, I mean, it means you're going to employ more workers to enforce these laws. Like, do we have that uh, financial capability? to? Do no, that, 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 that's, that's really not that's not the case. And that's not factual. So you see the police or the law enforcement agencies are part of the executive. I understand. The head of the police body is a vice president. The vice president is part of the executive. Understand? So when it comes to enforcement of laws, it's done by these bodies. So the police is the police is one no, that no, is no, able... not not necessarily so. Like I'll just give you a typical example, right? Because like here, like in the US, for instance, I work uh, uh, for uh, for a state agency in Washington State, right? So like as far as like environmental regulation is concerned, right? Any laws that they pass. It's like uh, the environmental agency that's responsible for enforcing those laws, right? They have a compliance compliance, uh, compliance unit that are responsible for enforcing those laws, right? And you, you have to pay people to 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 to, to be responsible for for carrying out like those laws into actions, you know. So it's not necessarily just the the police. Maybe it's an aspect of uh, the one no, of the agencies. In this, case, the in, in this case, right, they are criminalizing the act of it, right? And everything that is criminalized, it ends up in the police, right? But all I'm just saying is that there are institutions in Ghana that can spearhead what you, whatever you're talking about, and maybe they can create other institutions or whatever. But yeah, but that, I'm saying, yeah. but I'm saying, like, think about it, they are going to enforce it. it, means maybe the workload within that institution, you might, you might have to employ more people to be responsible. Oh, you, you, the, for see, the reason why that. it's not, the reason why it's not a major point is that it is not as if people are waiting for that thing to happen so that they can even do it outside. I don't think it's so much of a crime that a lot of these might be, um, I mean, employed or a certain agency has to be set up. Yeah, the like they, 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 they set up some uh -huh. true, true, true police. Be, you know, be giddy giddy like that. It's, it's like saying that they, they must like set up that. a certain agency for only arm robbers. You understand? True That's police. They even for to wear red. Red uniform. Bloody. Like, say, for, for instance, in the case of, like, the US, for instance, this LGBT women get rights. It's not necessarily just within the like the police system, even at the workplace. They have to do education about how to use the pronouns and everything. So they are like responsible agencies that are uh, are responsible for implementing those across no, so all. I think I think that will be on the education level, the right? That will be in the no, education but, but level. And in the bill. That. Wait, wait, wait. And in the bill, no, in the bill, there are institutions to even do that. Even without the bill, there is the NCC, the National Commission of Civic Education, and there is the Straj. Who are in charge of these things, you know, Commission of Human Rights representative, whatever, whatever. They are in charge of some of these things. So, so when it comes to the education, you're gonna need more money to fund it. So, like, because for me, from my understanding, like working in the US, like passing a law is just not just passing laws. You need more money to just be to be able to implement those laws, actually. Because here, in, for instance, in the case of like in the US, the clean the Clean Air Act, the environmental laws alone, just in, in one state, like they need over i know like u.s economy is way bigger than ghana right but it needs over like almost close to a billion to be able to, to pass that kind of law just in the state of washington alone just uh, environmental regulations just just in the case of just in air quality alone not to talk about like water quality in, in all areas yeah i get it but so, don't make it look uh, you're exaggerating the whole thing i feel like you're making it look I'm so big i'm just thinking in terms of the practicality i'm just thinking in terms of the practicality
I mean, people are going to work. There's going to be workload if more laws are being implemented. It's going to be a workload. No, I don't think that means, you, you, think, you think because you think because there's going to be a lot of workload, then we might just forget about it because indeed we cannot pay for the people that are going to help get to with it. That's situation. what I'm saying. Like the reason why we pass those laws, we are just reacting to the Western pressure. Because like earlier, I think what the guy Sabajo, like the guy from the UK, was saying that. Uh, in uh, send the, the, send the, the, I beg you, don't spoil my day. I want to say something. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Kuda, I beg you. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, just within like uh, the within uh, our territorial boundaries in Ghana, right? Like um, we, like the the pronouns has not has never been an issue within our cultural practice, right? So why the need for us to just you know uh, to be competing on the uh, among the Westerners on that level? I think it's just uh, uh, unnecessary. Yeah, I, I don't really think. I don't really to think. To act it's as a reactionary, like, it's it's more like, like just reacting so, to the pressures. No, no, no. It's more like we are saying that we are resisting any other influence on our tradition and our custom. That that is all. You understand? That's yeah, why. Yeah, but just whole... made, uh, made it very clear that you know most 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 of what we consider to be our traditions and custom is mostly stem from religious beliefs and values, actually. And yes. that, that clearly stated yeah. because this whole thing is about religious and political, you know, even economical, because there are other effects that are going to, you know, be seen whenever it's, it's accepted in your community or not. You understand? Yes. But we yeah. are just saying that whatever whatever the proponents of the bill or the, the sponsors of the bill are trying to say is that whatever the Western world is trying to project on us, our custom frowns on it, our traditional frowns on it. That's yeah. all. No, but hey, what I'm hey, trying to say is that a lot of the times, right, what I'm saying, uh, I'm, not, I'm sorry, school, to change, right? what I'm saying is that uh, I'm not saying that uh, we shouldn't be like, we shouldn't act like reactionary towards that pressure because uh, like the laws that we, we pass, it might require money for us to implement those laws actually, right? And then, uh, like you said, like we know, we're gonna miss. Uh, uh, we might probably lose the potential aid from the U.S., which is used to fund some of these agencies in, in Ghana. Like I remember when I was doing my national service, I think in the inspectorate board, when uh, Akufuad was uh, campaigning or like uh, for his uh, uh, no foreign aid. I mean, a lot of people kind of lose their job. They were even going out for inspection. Actually, <laughs> you understand <laughs> where he wasn't wanting the loans because. A lot of like the people working the uh, the the the, the inspectorate board where I worked at, right? People were going outside to inspect the pre, pre tertiary uh, schools. So when the aid is not coming, it means they're not going to go outside to do the work. How can right. I somebody for you to say? Like? Somebody for you to say? I think he's talking about a strain on the consolidated fund. Exactly right. So we have to think of that angle. No, so the and consolidated I mean, fund, right? Wait, wait, wait. So the consolidated what? fund is a, a fund that is kept for um, things that are maybe a bit abstract away from the budget that the finance minister or whoever presents to the parliament, right? And whatever is done from the um, consolidated fund, it seeks approval from parliament. What I don't think, I don't think passing of the LGBTQ bill into a law is going to affect the consolidated fund. We're, let's not look at the monetary aspect of it because in this situation, we have clearly stated that passing the bill into a law now is even going to affect the country economically. So we are not trying to even find a way of, you know, bringing or introducing a certain form of money to support what we are trying to do. There is no money in Ghana right now that can help the economy. Not to talk of a, 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 some money that is somewhere that will help this bill. All we are well, saying that... Let me ask yeah, you yeah, a question, okay, right? Yeah, you pass yeah, the law. How do you make sure like the, 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 the law is actually working? How do you make like how do you make oh, sure no, that, that is that is very simple? No, wait, that is very simple. It's not about and that's what I'm telling you that there is a religious part of the law, and there is it's just more like saying that even though Ghana is a secular state, in Ghana they frown towards this thing, and that is the tag. That's what I'm telling you. That I'm they might that, not really be know. going around. Well, wait, wait, wait. They might not really be going around arresting people who are doing it because I mean, most sexual acts happen in the room, right? So if you are trying to arrest somebody who is doing oral sex or whatever, when are you going to arrest them? When are you going to see them? It's more right, like but, 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 uh, you're saying that now, though. We don't know that. You're saying that now. <laughs> prosecutors are going to prosecute them. I mean, somebody this has been done for the countries to do that prosecutions. Okay, right. go ahead. Not, not, not you got you off, Zongo Native. You said an amazing thing. This this bill right here, if you ask me, the to the topic shouldn't be if it should be passed or not. It should be what the the the, the politician blame me doing the citizens of Ghana. 
Every time they pass a law, it comes with extreme implications. They're relying on the fact that they're trying to uphold Ghanaian customs and stuff. If that was the case, they would start with more economic situations. No, they're not trying to uphold Ghanaian customs and stuff. They're just trying to pass this law because they know it's very aligned with Ghanaian religion and everything. And the fact that you're using religious basis is an extremely red flag. It's an extreme red flag, bro. When they pass this law, you have to look future plans when a law gets passed. It's same happened a couple of years ago with COVID. The amount of robbery that happened with the COVID bill in Ghana, you guys don't even know. So, say, you know, CIA started, almost started passing on how are we going to determine somebody's gay or not? This can easily become some kind of political weapon and everything. The yeah. point is, the point is, this shouldn't be a law. This should be something, a fiasem. Or, or by a gay now, you, there's there's so many types of gay people. There are the ones that are flamboyant that fire clearly hates, <laughs> and there's normal gay people. I don't know why in Ghana most of the gay guys over there are extremely, extremely. Like, I don't extremely. know. Why that's cool. that's cool. not that's to cut you right by in the bill. That, that's cool. Not to cut you by in the bill. It gives actually a certain form no, of. I'm uh, not this is what corrupt people are saying. You, do you no, know? No, no, no. They're not talking about theory. No, wait, wait. Yeah, they're not talking about theory. Symbolic. Oh, oh, we are. This, bro, I do a sit down. We a sit down. This is this is like a. Bro, this this can be a thing they use for like political leaders. Oh, he's gay. That's why he came. And you can't prove these things with deep fake coming. There's so many ways they can fake people's videos of being gay. There's so many things happening that you people just say blatantly, "Yeah, we are against it." These people that make these laws, you know how far they think before pass these things. You, they, there's so many. We're yeah. weaponizing our own government. The and more the you give people power. The more they're gonna use it against the people. They have done it so many times. I don't know why this can't be. This is this is actually a moral issue. It's and also, a and also, uh, not to cut you off, right? Once you pass the law, the law itself, it's not gonna be specific. So there's gonna yeah, be an agency specific. of the the agency of the executive branch to establish the, those regulations. I mean, yeah. Someone needs to get paid to establish those regulations. Bro, they want to start arresting people. It's pretty much all I'm trying to say is, bro, the least government in any society is the best. The moment this is not a government, it shouldn't. This is a human right issue. Period. So they should be able to do whatever they want. Now, the way they choose to do the things they want to do, that's more of a moral issue. I don't know why in Penny Four in the in the society is not checking that. Why do we need government for that? That's crazy. Uh, when I was yeah, that, no, like, that's the unfortunate was, thing. It's a moral it, issue. Wait, it's a moral issue spearheaded by a politician who cannot really but it be trusted. Shouldn't so be. We are, that's a red exactly. flag. We are just questioning. Even here, we are questioning his motive. You understand? It could be political. But it but could it be should, religious. It shouldn't be because, like, yeah. the, the a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of times, when I listen to conversation on the Ghanaian platform, I mean, we we tend to blame the government. The government has to do this. Has to do yeah, that. Yeah, they're not your dad, bro. I mean, but but the government, what do they do? They just they just make policies. They don't create no jobs actually and it no? never policy so if they never lose this aid it means and, and most of the times when we say the government is getting money the money is just or, or, just uh, uh uh just uh providing revenues just to the civil servants not to the bro. average Ghanaian you and i we don't get no money bro, from this the is government. a government that the government work without benefit work. from their revenues right so no, i mean they, they, they're gonna to go to this IMF. So they're gonna to go to IMF and, and get more loans. They're gonna get the interest on, on it, and they're gonna be taxing you guys to, to to implement those laws. Actually, so just Never. think about it. the money. The every, money is not coming like just out of the sky. There's no free money. Every bill that constantly has words like perpetuity in them, you guys need to run far away from these things. They have words that me and you can't even understand because <laughs> they're speaking law. You understand? And and why is it a 35 page paper. It needs to be one paper if it's just anti gay. Why is but, it mad 35 pages? Yeah, you, you, know, you know, one thing though. Yeah. You know, one thing though, because law, law sometimes is not really specific. So there has to be a I know. body of the executive I, I, branch but, to establish those rules and regulations. But the politicians they, are not saying that to the average Ghanaian person like that though. They're making I mean, it look. seem like we're protecting Ghanaian. Uh, Agendas like yeah, like we're against it, bro. They're yeah. not. They're yeah, and who's the moral like police? Just, but I mean, they make it seem yeah. like they're trying to protect us from the Western stuff. They is the way controlling the whole thing. Yeah, they're I mean, a lot of us. A lot of us. It's going to be weaponized. 
Yeah, a lot of us are Ghanaians. We came to the West. We are you know, influenced by these styles because we have like proper training from like the foundation is strong. Yeah. You don't get loose like in the corner. Most, like uh, if you go to the Middle East, if you go to the Middle East, they have these kind of laws, but you can clearly tell it's religious based. It doesn't exactly. have too many in the windows like the way this one is going. This one already has some kind of economic incentive or I mean financial incentive or uh like being taken at worse that already makes it a red flag man like i said if if we have a problem with like gay people i think the least is we bring government i think it needs to start from neighborhood parenting church like you know like government is always the least approach yeah. history shows so do you bro, think, so do you think if it was if you think if it was religious bees right you wouldn't have any problem with it but the fact that it's, it's created by a politician no, which is looking more like no, that's not true. No, no because it's you made reference based, to the Middle East. No, because you made reference to the Middle East and you said that it's basically religious. Are you trying to say that if it was religious in Ghana, it would have been cool? No, it would not infringe on human rights. No, let, let me let me rephrase what I'm trying to say. What happens in the Middle East? It is religious based, and you can see it's in the culture. They really don't do that in their culture. They have other things. They have women. Women that can't drive cars. It's clearly something that's going on over, like for a long time. With the Ghanaian one, for them to say that it's kind of protecting the old Ghanaian values of like yeah, Krani and society, yeah, switchina. And I, we have some religious. We have religious people that have like same powers, politicians. That's also very scary. That's not. It's it's clearly a lie. So what I'm trying to say is, and no crumpy a red flag. Like th what they're saying is not true. They're not like. Are you telling me they're doing this to protect citizens? Like, what are they doing this for? Nobody has said that. We have clearly <laughs> said that. We don't even know the motive of this council. You understand? This country, this country, this country, this country, 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 country. Anyway, that, that that was it for me. Hey, yo, uh, Mr. Quentin. Yeah. Yeah. Then I won't uh, tell you to check this. Check the article one zero six, right? Uh, yeah, we didn't hear. That's why I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah, we didn't hear. Yeah. Okay, I will be continue. Yeah, continue. Yeah, I did listen, right. bro. Yeah, Mister Quarantine, check the article one zero six. Check the sub clauses eight, nine, and ten. I think it will give you. Um, it, it will tell you something about if the president they refuse to. Um, to sign them, what it will tell you, it will tell something for the check them. If exactly. the president they refuse, oh, to what send be the, what be the clause again? One of six clause was make I read them out. Eight, right eight, yeah, read nine, them out. and ten. Okay. Show okay. eight, nine, and ten. Check. Stand check one or eight. One or six. One six. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so the eight, so the eight says that where the president refuses. You guys listen. Sure. Where, where the sure president ready. refuses to assent to a bill, he shall within fourteen days. After the refusal, mm -hmm. a state in a memorandum to the speaker any specific provisions of the bill, which, in his opinion, should be reconsidered by Parliament, including his recommendations for amendments, if any. Or b inform the speaker that he has referred the bill to the Council of State for, for consideration and comments under Art Article 90 of this Constitution. Okay. So nine. Okay, so let's see what the clause nine says. So this Article 106, clause nine. Parliament shall reconsider a bill taking into account. The comment made by the president or the council of state, as the case may be, under clause eight of this article. Okay, clause ten. Where a bill reconsidered under clause nine of this article is passed by parliament by a resolution supported by the vote of not less than two thirds of all the members of parliament, the president shall send to it within thirty days after passing to the resolution. Okay, so my bad, my bad over there. I think I gave out wrong so information. I, so, so I think so. So, so, so I said it. I said it there's going to be a, a specific time period. No, but you see, the, after the specific time is broken, it does not become a law. Do you understand? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they might, uh, they might, you know, they so, might filibuster like the way they do it in America. Is that granted? I think from the, from the from the nine and ten, then it did try to tell you see. So the 11, so listen to the 11, let's read the 11, let's read the 11. It said, without prejudice, that is without judging, without anything, to the power of parliament to postpone the operation of the law, a bill shall not become law until it has been duly passed and assented into accordance with the provisions of this constitution, and it shall not come into force unless it has been published in the gazettes 
You understand? So in as much as it has been given a stipulated time of 30 days to respond to the Speaker of Parliament, if so, you right, but, but the thing is, like, who are the, like, who are the guys as the general public? They're like uh, uh, special groups, special interests. The public, like you and I, can give their opinions. And they have to consider all those opinions before they actually put those uh, law in, uh, the bill uh, becomes the law. That's what it essentially means, actually. We do. No, we no do. I don't think so. It doesn't, it doesn't factor in the decisions or the opinions of the citizens. It's about parliament in acting. So it could have been that the sponsors of the bill were normal citizens. As in this in this situation, the person who is the sponsor of the bill is a member of the parliament. It could have been anybody who would have championed the case or the it bill through a member of parliament. Do you understand? It so it could have been, let's say, the, uh, uh, let's say a Supreme Court judge wrote to the Speaker of Parliament that he wants to so this bill to be passed. And Parliament will discuss it. They will vote on it. Then take it to the president. So, but in this situation, it is a parliamentarian doing it. You understand? But now the law has made us understand that the president has 30 days after the bill has been sent to him to respond. And it's a child, so it's mandatory. No matter what, he must respond. But it does not tell us that no. if he doesn't respond, it becomes an no. act of law. Is that crazy? No, they get them. No, but they get them wrong. It says they will side. have to debate on that, and if he doesn't respond, no, this, this can't. Make, this can't. Make, this can't make, make up with them this way. Yeah, right. Let's say if they present the bill within fourteen days. Let's say a man refuse them within fourteen days. If you come explain to the speaker, this be why and why are they refuse them. You people for do this and that and that. You understand? But then if they do them finish, they go take them back to them. Again, if it's still they refuse them, now mm -hmm. they go vote, right? Parliament yeah. they vote for there. Now after voting, they get some, let's say, make a put them this way, like percentage with them forget. So if the majority carry them for there. Now the president, they, they give them 30 days. The 30 days, it no be say make you bring your opinion or no. Well, if you say by force, if I can't sign. No, 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 no. That's what you read, actually. That's what you read. Wait, wait, wait. That's what you read. That's what you read. That's what you read. That's what you read. It's not binding. Listen, listen. It's not binding. It's not It's not binding to the president to by force a stance. Now, this is where the this is where the, the flimsy this one is. You see, the law, Ghana law, Lancafane, they do them in a way that there is always an exception, even if you are reading it. Yeah, but the structure of passing law, like built into law, is just it's a standard. Yeah, no, 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 but listen, the point is that what finalizes the bill, eh, the two thirds of parliament that the thing was talking about, is about the passing of the bill. That one is now, that, that, that passing of the bill prepares the bill for an ascension. Of one accent, mm -hmm. if the yes, for an accent. So the pass of the bill needs the two thirds of the parliament, not the passing of the law after it has been sent back to the president. Then it's coming back for that for them to vote. Whether they vote, whether even even if it's all the whole, um, it's all members of parliament eh, that agree that the bill must be passed. It does not. It's not binding to the president. It's not binding to the president that no, because parliament has said it, it must happen. Okay. It's just like the president nominating ministers and sends it to parliament for. Um, what's the name? Nomination, then eventually approval. In as much as the president has been given the power to appoint, the constitution gives the power of for um, what's the name? Vetting to the legislature. Same way, even though the, the 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 powers of enacting laws or making laws is given to the legislature, the power of enforcing the law is given to the executive. So it's not a binding. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait, Somebody yeah. tagged me for somewhere. Let me can read them yeah. to you. Uh, ask BBC. Ask BBC Africa. Talk say then post say. Uh, the president say he eh, 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 no he eh, no go sign now. Sam George go talk for this. Somebody just tag me. Sam George no tell big, big BBC country. Africa say, yeah bro. Big country that was that he tell country earlier on say if he, he says Sam George being guys, when I think say he they follow in Twitter in tweets all the time. Yeah. So the so Quentin, if you watch some don't talk this matter with big country they talk. That one I won't talk earlier, but I don't want to make you do like TV. Maybe, maybe yeah, make, or I won't read them out to um, the constitution. Yeah, you talk okay. This be Sam George. It comment for the BBC. They are they are there. It it tell it's a point of correction. Article one zero six, clause eight, nine and ten spell out how the parliament can proceed to make the bill a law, even when the president decides not to assent to the bill. Cheers. Where somebody, somebody come tell him say, LOL, the provisions you have cited, which state that two third of the parliament can vote on it still requires the president to assent to it. You don't even know what you are talking about as an MP. Exactly my when point. When Sam George exactly. come back to him, tell him, say, 
it is interesting how you confidently display your ignorance of the law. After parliament passes a vote by two-third majority, the president is compelled without any recourse to sign the bill within 30 days. Yeah, I mean, but, but guys, guys, see, I understand, like, I mean, I mean, this is part of the civic education that we are going through. But let's understand that, you know, the, the parliament of Ghana, they have, like, you know, people with years of experience in the, in the parliament. They understand the law. So they know, like, the process, the due process to follow. People over there know it. So let's not try to, you know, make us seem like they don't know. Like, Sam George, even Sam George has been there for, for several years. He has uh, his, uh, his advisors around him. Uh, people who are in the uh, in parliament for years, they know the due process. So this this shouldn't be a challenge for for us to be even debating on. I mean, the overall point is is the is uh, the, the 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 bill like what benefit? Because for me, for me, I look at it. Oh, the money! Like, why are we going to get the money to implement it? You know, already we are even struggling with the existing revenue that we. <laughs> We have. We've been. We went to IMF recently to just get a loan to finance. Not the whole of Ghanaians, though, because a lot of times, oh, IMF get money, but it's not the whole of Ghanaians. It's just only the civil servants, a section of Ghanaians, not the Ghanaians in the private sector who are working. They are busting their ass to get their own money, because at the end of the day, the government is going to take the money from you guys to implement those laws. So a lot of the times, you got to think from that angle. <laughs> it's not just like. Just pull up by y'all, like oh, the oh, just just feeling good. Because a lot of us we tend to like to, oh, we pass bill just feel good. Okay, we are sending the signal to the Western board. They don't really care about it actually. You know, we don't really have that financial muscle to implement those laws. Even the existing laws that we have, I mean, we can't even implement it. You know, we can't do that actually because because we don't have the money to do it, and we are even passing more laws. It's just, it's just nonsensical to me, if you ask me. Interesting. Um, it actually knocked for... <laughs> no, it's it, four hours, sorry. Four hours. We enter four hours. This is enough, you know? Yes, I... <laughs> and I... And I also wanted to say something. Uh, fire, I mean, outside of, like, today's conversation, fire, I think... I think you're doing a great job. I just wanted to let you know, like Ghanaians in the diaspora, we watch you, we see what you're doing. Don't don't follow like the the Ghanaians in Ghana who are. You know, if you pay too much attention to them, I mean, you're not gonna get anywhere. But there are a lot of Ghanaians in the diaspora that watch you. They, like they, we we actually know like you're telling the truth, even though I'm not really too much into fashion. But in the US, I actually see what you're saying. Like, cause someone like you in the US, you can compete with them on any on every level. Not even the celebrities, it's just. It's just, it's just, just understandable. Like everybody knows it, you know. Mm. So, like, you pay too much attention to them, it's not gonna get you anyway. But I think over time, a lot of people are gonna get, they, they're gonna understand it. You know, it's just gonna take time. No, I just sometimes I just want to put them in their place. You know, they don't know their place. So just because they have numbers, they think they, they, you know, they have an opinion. So I like to put them in their place. You know, it's not like I'm paying yeah, but, them attention, but, but, but yeah, I just like to put them in their place. Make them know, say, hey, you know, they inside, sit down. And I was about. saying that you made mention earlier that the the Yao people they get old audience, but yeah. that's the reflection of how the the general Ghanaians think, though. If the Yao people like that's how the Ghanaians are. But is it you know like, is it that'll be that'll that be how reflection. that'll be how it used to be, you know? That'll be how it used to be. And even because it was it was 50 50, but now it's like 95 5 kind of thing. Yeah, but now like social media is there so everyone <laughs> have access to create content right you yeah. know so if people are following them it's the reflection of what the general Ghanaians think like Some you know Some but way. once you stay in your lane I think over time like people will just catch up with that I mean but I mean we know like in the UK I mean we stay over there we know like Ghana is like miles away behind but hey <laughs> if they are arguing with you it means we have a long way to go <laughs> for real for real yeah. we did that great show but uh, and great, to, uh, great, uh, great shout out to the panel and the, the chat who are also listening as well. Salute, bro. Salute. Shout it. Bloodline, you be serious, 95 5 oh. you know, we joke. You be serious, eh? Hmm. It, <laughs> I tell you, if you put your eye down with the watch on things, your mind go, you go feel crazy. You know, we joke, oh. then my mentality is weird, backwards, but. We day here, bro. We don't really give up any time. So we end them with that. This is motherfucking stand toilet at the fucking building. Big up everybody we passed you. What I said, Medanta, Stanta, 